Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to download customized lots into your Sims 4 game. The creator we're going to be using today is Alexis Ariel. She has some really good content out there so I suggest you go check out her Patreon. I will link it in the description box below. Once you find the lot you want, make sure you look into the description. In her description of the lot it shows anything that she recommends me download in addition to the lot that she created. Under recommended, it'll show that you need The Sims 4 Get to Work, which I do have. There's at least four items from Insemnia, which is a separate creator on Patreon, um, QMBB, RVSN, Little Dika. You need all of those links in order for the build to appear properly. After you're done downloading all of those links, you're gonna go back to the main page and under download, choose the download option. She uses Mediafire for her build, so it'll direct you to that page. You click the download option and it'll download to your downloads folder. With Mediafire, it does pop up an ad every time I try to download something, so just close out the ad and choose to download. Once you've downloaded everything, you can go to your downloads folder and it should look similar to this. Now, yours will look different because I already had some of those required links, so I didn't re-download those, but you should pretty much have a couple WinRAR files, some compressed zipped files, and some package files. So, the first thing I do is I take away all of the package files, meaning I select all of the package files cut them and paste them into my mods folder. In my mods folder, I don't keep too many subfolders um, because when I did that, I had a lot of duplicated mods. So what I do is um, anything that has a script mod, any mod that has a script file, like Wicked Wins, anything that changes the gameplay of your game, I keep them in separate folders, but any CC such as objects and hairs and clothes, I like to keep loosely in my mods folder just so I can avoid any duplication. After you cut and paste those in your mods folder, you go back to your downloads folder. Once you're back in your downloads folder, you're going to unzip all of the files that says WinRAR or compressed zip. Make sure you have WinZip and WinRAR already installed in your computer. The first one I'm going to extract is a WinRAR file. So the first thing you do is right click it, you go down to the WinRAR option, and you go to Extract Files. Once this pops up, you click OK, and you continue that process for each of the folders. After you unzip all of the files, they should look similar to this. Now you have to go through each folder. So the first folder I'm going to choose is the Alexis Ariel Outdoor Mall. When you open that folder, it has two subfolders, which is Mods and Tray. So I'm going to open the Mods folder first. And there you have all of the package files. Anything that's a package file will go directly into your Mods folder. So I'm going to select all of these files cut them and paste them into my mods folder. Once I chose to place them into the mods folder, it popped up and said I already have 324 of those files. And that'll happen if you download multiple builds from one person, one creator. So I do have multiple Alexis Ariel lots, which is why I already have most of those files. So I'm going to choose to skip those files and just keep the files that I don't have. Then you're gonna go back to your downloads folder and you're gonna do the same thing with your tray folder. You'll double click your tray folder, copy those files and paste them into your tray folder under your Electronic Arts The Sims 4 tray folder. When opening the Logos Cover Art Assets folder, there were a bunch of PNG files and there's nowhere that you would paste those into your Sims 4 folders. So I just deleted them. I guess it's just a preview of what the actual art is gonna look like in game. So just like before, you'll go back to your downloads folder. Now I'm gonna choose the new crest folder and 
when you open that it shows you have some tray files in there so you're going to submit those into your tray folder and then you'll do the same thing with the mods and put those into your mods folder all right so now you'll go back to your downloads folder and you're going to do the same process you're going to go through each of these folders you're going to cut and paste those into either your mods folder if they are a package file or into your tray folder before going into the game i always like to go back into the creators page and see if there's anything that shows their origin id so it's easier to find it in the gallery so here she has listed lively lex or alexis ariel but in game it is listed as something different and you'll see what i'm saying so on her page it showed two names that you can find her under and i first started with the lively lex and i searched it under the ea account id within my library however that build didn't show up. I also tried the Alexis Ariel and it didn't show up. So what I ended up doing was typing in the name of the lot that I placed and it shows up. So the reason I couldn't find that build when I typed in her name is it's actually saved under Alexis Ariel G. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, there's multiple ways to find the lots that you have either by typing in the name itself the creators id should work most of the time um, but just make sure you check that include custom content box now i'm going to place the lot and just see what it looks like in game and there it is here's the lot placed west madison plaza it looks great um it has Carter's, Nike Factory Store. Like if you really want to look at it in detail, I would suggest you go to her page um, and see all of the, the pictures she has. But it looks great in my game. And there you have it. It's very simple. Of course, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And I will see you in my next tutorial.